Hey guys, it's Mark. Uh, this is the Mark Wilson Sports Show. Good morning. It is nice. It is 7.55. It is Tuesday, April 14th. I hope you guys have a good Tuesday morning. Um, Bo- uh, Boston Celtics clinched the playoffs last night. They have, are in the playoffs. That is crazy. I think that is crazy. Uh... They're, they're making the playoffs and the Bruins didn't. That That is totally crazy. Um, Celtics play the uh, um, the Raptors tonight at 7.30. Uh, Red Sox play uh, Washington um, Nationals at 7.32. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on. Big headlines. Uh, the Bruins have to do something on the off season. I, I know I've been saying these that the same the same thing the last few days, but they have to do something. They need the only thing that, that stinks is that they don't have any money. Their salary cap is like right on the edge. So the only way they could uh get someone big is trade a good player they have already and. I don't really don't want them to do that. If they trade Brian Marchand, I'm going to be absolutely going to go insane. Uh, uh, last night, uh, we're past Janak. Uh, uh, we already dropped uh, Pae. I hope he, he can re-sign Chris Kelly. Chris Kelly is a really good player. I hope we can re-sign him. Uh, if they if they touch Dougie Hamilton, Pasternak, Brad Marchand, uh, or Bergeron, and trade any of those four players, I'm gonna I'm gonna go crazy because those are those are like very good players, and we need those players. And if if they really need to, I think they should trade McQuaid. I like McQuaid, but he 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 gets hurt all the time. And alrighty, um, I heard last night John Lester had a bad first start for the Cubs. <laughs> um, maybe it was a good thing we didn't sign him. I heard he didn't play that well. His uh, pitching was not that good. But hey, it's only they only been eight games in the season. There's still like 120 games left. So, and it's John Lester. He's nasty. Alrighty, uh, that is crazy. I still can't believe the Boston Celtics are in the playoffs this year. That is insane. They have um, they the way they won because. Uh, the Brooklyn Net, the Bulls beat the Brooklyn Nets last night, and if the Nets won, I guess it would have been all messed up. So, because uh, I guess the Nets and them were fighting for that last A seed, and so the Nets lost. The Bulls beat the Nets, so that's why they clinched it already. That's that's good. So Celtics are in the playoffs. Crazy, I think. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm really tired this morning. Usually Mondays are the days I'm like really tired, but today is just just half there today. Um, okay, uh. That's really it for sports right now. I don't really see anything I can talk about, but Bruins do something, please. We can't have another year like you had like last year. Like next year, you gotta be good because seeing the Celtics in the playoffs and not the Bruins in the playoffs, I'm I'm not I I, I do like the Celtics, but I'm more of a Bruins fan. 
I would have, I would have loved, I would have loved to, uh, the, to, to see both of them in the playoffs. But it's just weird just seeing the Celtics in the playoffs with, uh, with a re with a record. I don't even know. Let's see what the record the Celtics have. Celtics have a record of thirty eight and forty two in the playoffs, and they're making the playoffs with a thirty eight and forty two record. That is, like. I don't understand, and it's crazy, and let's see, uh, Bruins, Bruins, I heard Bruins, Bruins were, Bruins are the first team in NHL history uh, to not make the playoffs with, let's see, what did they have for points, with, with 96 points. They had for record forty one and twenty seven, and they were the first time, first team ever in NHL history to never make the playoffs with ninety six ninety six points made during the season. So that um, the ninety six points means means it's like with the whole record add up and all that stuff and. Other things, I don't really have to talk to my uncle more about that. He knows more about that, but uh, that's what uh, Jack Edwards said on the TV when I was watching their last game when they, obviously the lo last game they had in the regular season, they lost in a shootout. That's another thing they got to work on is shootouts because we suck at shootouts. Okay, so Bruins... Work on off season. Work on your like, practice or something. Practice your shootouts because every time you get in a shootout, you lose. I don't know why. I don't know why. And please make the playoffs next year because it's just it's just weird. You guys are not in the playoffs this year because the last time you guys weren't in the playoffs was like oh four oh five or something. I forget. And but I am happy the Celtics are in the playoffs. It will be insane if the Celtics make it all the way to the finals this year with the team they have. But I don't really know. If that, I, don't, I don't think that's really possible. But I'm just saying, well, I'm just saying that's crazy. But if they, if they do, if they do go far in the playoffs, that would be, that's, that would be awesome. That would be really cool. I think it would be cool. Imagine this team, this Boston Celtics team. Makes it all the way to the finals with the team they have. Going through Cleveland, going through the Thunder. I don't even know what the th Thunders. Thunder might not even make the playoffs. Well, I'm talking about the Thunder. Um, Cleveland, Spurs. Got. I don't even know. Like, I just know Cleveland, Spurs. I don't even know. My, I don't even know if Miami Heat's a good team anymore. But, um, okay, but. This is the Mark Wilson Sports Show. I hope everyone has a good Tuesday, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Alrighty. See you guys later. Alright, bye.